Okay, y'all. This is part two of my um, off-grid solar system. Let me turn down this uh, turn of stereo off. All right, let me just turn it down. All right, anyway, it's st still running. Okay, and this also has USB ports to charge into your cell phones or your iPods and any of that good junk, computers. Also, uh, and it's it's quiet. You don't even hear this thing running. I mean, it's very quiet. The Xantrax. That's awesome. All right. But anyway, if I was to run a grid tie inverter in between here and here after this voltage meter, I would put in a DC Blue Seas or whatever brand Perco. Uh, I would use a DC battery switch. Marine usually comes on on, on marine on boats. Okay. Well, I'll show you what it looks like. This is where I would put it, right in between here, after you, after your charge controller. That we can switch from battery to grid tie. Okay. And this is a, what this battery switch looks like. They sell them all over the internet, eBay, that kind of stuff. Um, I got mine from a store. But here is a DC battery switch. And like I say, it's still in use. Right now, number one is my solar array. Number two is where I used to have my grid tie inverter before I got my outback. My little grid tie inverter is my, the eBay, the sun, the sun type, or the power jacks, whichever. That's where I used to have it coming from. And that comes directly from my, my charge controller before it gets my batteries and all that stuff. So I can shut the power source off. And or it comes from my solar panels, excuse me. And I can turn this thing right here off and I'll shut everything off. But anyway, that's, what, that's it. And it's got like a few connections up underneath. If y'all can see that. Oh, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. I mean, just look at it and test that. Look at it. Cobweb. hate when that happens. But anyway, y'all. Thank you for watching. And talk to y'all later. All right. Bye-bye.